What's up, everybody? This is Carrick with ACG, and welcome to a Mafia Definitive Edition preview. So myself and many others were given the chance by 2K to sit down with Mafia Definitive Edition. This is, of course, the preview build and play a while, sort of go through some of the early missions and explore the game world and just sort of report on what we saw. There's no real restrictions other than informing you guys this is a preview build of the game. And I'm just going to have some video playing here as I discuss the various different bits of this. So again, September 25th is when this is coming out. The definitive edition is really a from the ground rework of everything within the original Mafia. In fact, they've actually included new gameplay elements, new features. They've updated the script. They've done a ton. And one of the first things I noticed when I turned this on instantly I noticed the soundtrack. So this soundtrack has actually been re-recorded, the entire orchestral score. It is fantastic. It captures that Scarface. It captures that Godfather bit right away. This is something that you'll notice from the original game, but having it actually be re-recorded shows the step above that I think we're seeing here where we don't see that with some remasters. Of course, you know, not every company has the money to do that kind of thing. But when you take those old elements and you try to mix them and you try to fix them and you try to clean them up for current everyday use in a game, especially repetitive use. And we notice those issues for sure. For example, just look no farther than destroy all humans. We definitely notice that with the voices there. All of this has been re-recorded. You absolutely can tell. Now, again, because this is a preview, you guys will see, I've got the frame rate counter up there. It says 60, but I was noticing some micro stutter when I was recording. The dog says hi, by the way. And with that micro stutter, there, there were some issues here and there with the recording itself. So it's not necessarily completely smooth. But I have to say, as I was playing this, I noticed that really the big step up here is not only the geometry, all that kind of stuff, but it's the lighting. The lighting is something that you notice almost instantly how well it's done. And it's got that slightly desaturated look to make things just look a little bit more realistic or at least when it comes to this, a little bit more cinematically realistic. I like that. I like the way it's presented. Now, I was driving and I got to say, I was playing Mafia originally a couple years ago and I was not happy with the driving. This has also actually been improved. That could be a frame rate thing. That could be something that they've done internally, just the engine itself. But the driving and the ability to control the vehicle, 10 times easier. I was stunned at how much better it was to drive this vehicle. So I got out here and I decided to listen to some of the sounds. Let's just listen to some of these. There's some pretty crazy depth to the audio. The first thing you'll notice, of course, is that vehicle, the sound of the metal actually changing different shape as it cools down from the heat of driving it. You can hear the metal actually, that, that ting sound as the metal changes. That was very cool. But also just a lot of overall acoustics that were actually adjusted here, occlusion to the sound that you actually hear that I didn't hear in the original, obviously, because there was no way that kind of advanced sound work would be done. So... These are big improvements that I saw when I was driving. And especially when it comes to control, I think that that was something, I just want to talk about that for a second more. When I, I really did have an issue with the original, I just never really enjoyed it. I did, you know, drive around and do fares. You have your free ride mode, which unfortunately free ride mode was not included in this. They did state that, that it was just not going to be in this version of the game of the preview. But it was something that I always had an issue with in the original, and everything just feels slicker here, as you can tell, because I start pushing my luck. You still have the ability to limit your RPM so that you can stay within the allotted miles per hour that you're supposed to stay in. Also, if anybody remembers this game, you have the ability, of course, to get pulled over by cops. Here you can choose arcade mode, which means that the only thing they'll really do is if you hit a pedestrian, you hit another car, a cop, a cop car may see that and pull you over, but it won't worry about speed or anything like that. I actually had this on that version so that it wouldn't worry about it, but I still wanted to use the RPM limiter to just see overall how it works. Also, when it comes to traffic handling, I noticed the traffic handling was better as well. Things like this, where the cars will actually, you'll notice as I jump out here and start running around, cars are actually stopping a little bit better. They're actually watching out for you a little bit better. It seems like the AI is just a slight step up, at least from what I've seen here in this small amount of time with the small minute adjustments. You also notice as I try to run over here and get hit, 
very good breaks on that. Probably better than actually existed in real life. I don't know, but it does. It works out really well. A lot of uh, taxis in this one area. I did notice that when I was playing it. Let's talk about the cutscenes and jump to it. It, it. Really impressive. Now, you can tell that it's slightly older. It's, it looks like they don't have a lot of coverage on the faces with some of the skin techniques that they've got. I don't know exactly how they're going about that. And when I say older, I don't necessarily mean it's old footage. I just mean it looks like it needs one or two more passes before it goes just when you look at the overall way the textures and stuff are covered, there's a couple different facial animations you see. It's a little bit expanded. It's a little bit too over the top when it comes to the facial animations. However, when it comes to the actual way the characters animate and just what they're trying to intone, what they're trying to actually push forward, it is phenomenal. Playing the couple cutscenes that we got, I think you get up to about the fifth mission in this preview was phenomenal when it comes to just the way the characters move and act during these cutscenes. Again, faces got a little bit of that dead eye. This is something we've talked about where the glaze in the eyes is not done exactly right. And only a couple of games have actually got that living, breathing feeling of a person's eye. But looking at this and being a remake, pretty impressive. Overall, not bad at all. Again, that lighting is phenomenal. A lot of soft lighting. And this actually ran well. The micro stutter was definitely there, but this is at, I believe, 1440p maxed out, all settings maxed out so that I could record it instead of 4K because you do lose a couple frames per second. And it was actually, other than those occasional micro stutters, actually running very well, especially when you consider this is a preview build. A little bit probably, I would say, maybe starting this month, old build most likely so you're looking at a two month until we actually get the release i wanted to jump forward here and show you another cutscene. when you look at games like this and when you look at their time frame one of the reasons why i know a lot of people look at particular time frames and they don't enjoy it whether that be western whether that be fantasy there's just something that they may not like one of the reasons why I like this is because it was the second Wild West. It really was. When you look at Prohibition, you look at all the different things that were occurring and the way organized crime or disorganized crime was done. And you notice that for sure in Mafia 1. You have this situation where you have a secondary Wild West and you get that idea of, of made men, you know, people who do it on their own and who figure out how to make a place for themselves in a society where at that time, a lot of people were questioning exactly how they were going to go about different things and how they were going to move forward just within within America. And especially when you look at that market crash, which is when this is based around. I do want to also talk about the vocals and how this is all done. Very well done vocals. I do think that there were some things that were in the original Mafia that may currently in our present day, when it comes to the way things are handled politically, may not actually end up sticking into this. I have a feeling that some stuff has been removed. I, I noticed in some of the cutscenes with this particular character who... At that time, when you see cripples being, uh, you know, used, that kind of thing, that's certainly not used now. Different words are used. I don't, but but that's not the most egregious of those kind of terms. And I've noticed that it feels to me like a couple things might have been switched here or re-recorded. But again, I haven't jumped back and looked at that. I do like every single person's performance so far. This is one of the strengths of Mafia. People don't get it. Mafia Edition, the reason why Mafia 1 and 2 were liked so much is because of the strength of their performances with that gameplay. But the performances were some of the best performances we had seen in games up until that point. And that's why one reason why a lot of people enjoyed parts of Mafia 3, but only with some of those side characters who were really good actors at the time. And we noticed some of that as, <laughs> as well as the crap gameplay. Here what you have is all of this being brought into the future, brought into the now. So we jump in this new car and I decided to drive it. And strangely enough, it actually did feel different. I was really surprised because... When you played those older games, they just didn't take the time to really worry about a lot of this stuff. And 2K already did. We already know that when this was made, um, or not 2K, but the developer, when the developer made this, we already knew that they had taken into account different cars and that kind of stuff because you have the car viewer. But it was cool to see that because a lot of games just wouldn't have, you know, worried about it. And as you guys know, as a big fan of LA Noir, big fan of this time frame, to me, this is just super exciting to see. I did notice a couple issues when I was driving around looking for fares later on and trying to pick up people. I noticed that 
while this world does seem busy, it is the open world light kind of title. You need to remember that. This is not, at least so far, what they've shown a GTA. There's not something going on around every corner. This is an older style game, a lot like L.A. Noir, where you see some stuff occurring and the world is busy, but it's not that ingrained activity kind of almost current gen style where they're a little bit afraid of having any downtime. In fact, you also notice that with the cutscenes here, there's no cutscenes that feel modern. The cutscenes actually feel, even though they look modern, they feel of a slightly older gen where there isn't that desire to push everything forward instantly. There's not that instant, oh, we gotta have action, we gotta have action, which I really liked. So we're gonna jump forward. Basically, you've been given the weapons to destroy another mob group's cars, and that's because they destroyed your taxi, so you're gonna take vengeance out on them. This is basically a tutorial to allow you to understand how to do the different moves. So you've got your parry, you've got your movement there, and you've got your super swap a doobly doo Boom, right in the nose. See that blood shoot out? That was actually pretty cool. Some good collision detection right there. Oh, maybe not so much leg. But anyway, that looks really good. You basically destroy these, and then you're able to test out the Molotov cocktail. Little bit wonky effects, but they did say that that is a preview. Again, this is an older preview. Even though we're playing it now, these previews would go through a cert prior to us getting them. So it's not too surprising. And again, this is an older game that has been remastered or is being remastered. So I don't know exactly to what level they're going to worry about all that kind of stuff. I would assume with explosions and stuff, they'll bring that up. But then we steal their car because, of course, that's just what you do. I like that everything here is within the tutorial, but again, it's not necessarily rushed. This is actually a bit into the game. We've gone, we've picked up a couple fares, we've done a couple things, and then only now this is our second high-speed chase, the first one being when you're introduced to this original mob group. Now you see here, you're running away from the cop cars. You can turn the restrictor off during these times, of course, because you're being chased by the cops. It'd be weird to have that restrictor on. But you basically go, very typical GTA-style game, and you're trying to escape them. Now, originally when I played this, I remember complaining that the speeds just didn't seem that crazy. And I guess my memory was pretty bad, because here, you know, you get up, you're not necessarily booking, but you get up actually to a speed that is fast enough for you to do some slides and <laughs> power slides in some of these old cars with their little bicycle wheels. But overall, I gotta say, sound, music, voice... It's nailing it, guys. It's really nailing it. And when it comes to graphics, that too. This is exactly what I was hoping for because I knew it wasn't going to be absolutely to the end-all, be-all when it comes to modernism. But this is a huge step up. Oops, I didn't necessarily drive that that well. This is a huge step up graphically, just a massive one. And easily one that if it looked like this, we fix a little bit of the pop-in, a little bit of the stuff that's going on in the far distance. This is a title that... I have no issues playing and considering, you know, very close to current. It, it is an open city or open world light. But so far, really damn impressed with this. So let's hope September 25th comes around and we're all as excited as I am right now to actually be playing the preview. It's open for a little bit more time before they shut it down. And uh, I will definitely be jumping in there. And I'll update this if something else comes out. See that? I just don't think I was... I don't know if it was hardware or just the crap frame rate that I had on the original game but that draw distance and that view is phenomenal looking this is going to be a great world to explore again anyway that's it for me i hope you guys like these previews if you do i would love for you to thumbs it up so i know what kind of content you guys like if you want to subscribe i would love for you to subscribe follow me on twitter and of course you can become a patron on the patreon website i'll continue to give you guys shit that's not bs or filled with sponsored bullcrap this isn't sponsored by the way peace out and enjoy the rest of your week